So you're new to the Fusion 360 Slicer and you're wondering what is all this stuff about post processors and what does that mean to me? Well in the next minute or so I'm going to explain it so let's jump into this together. Welcome to Fusion Minute by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about post processors. So here we are in the Fusion Slicer. We're in the manufacturing workspace. We have the additive modality selected. And what we want to do to look at the post processors is go over here to Actions, and you see the post processor icon. We're going to click on this, which is going to bring up a dialog box. Within this dialog box, we already have the Triple F machine selected, the generic uh, post processor. And to really look at what this is going to do, we're going to click Open Config. And what this is going to do is in WordPad is open up the configuration. Now, the idea behind a post processor is rather simple. It takes the generic G code created by the slicer or the CAM module as output and places it in a format which is understandable by the G code interpreter on the machine we're going to use. So, for example, down here we can see it defining uh, a script here to define the bed parameter so when the g-code is generated that needs to address the bed size or envelope it uses this as a function for its formatting the other piece if we scroll down we also notice all these var statements which define how for example the different uh, formats should be handled for example var form var x format is going to determine how the uh, x uh, numerations for units should be defined and we see here create format decimals units equal millimeters and basically all the padding that is needed because again with inside the G code for certain interpreters uh, it, sometimes it needs to be padded there needs to be leading or following zeros there needs to be so many spaces and again this post processor is what explains that now if you're used to using Cura uh, Cura will ask what type of firmware are you using for example are you using Marlin firmware and it uses that information basically internally to do the equivalent of a post processor now the great thing about a post processor for you know uh, you know triple F 3d printing is basically it's now bringing that machine to a higher level of performance in the cam tool chain now this is a very important piece and one I'm very excited about and I've been looking forward to for a while because this allows us to do a lot more interesting things it provides us a lot more flexibility we can now start developing our own post processors to do other interesting aspects of production that was not possible with things like Cura the other piece where this becomes exciting is the experience Autodesk brings in the whole cam or computer aided manufacturing space which post processing empowers is they have a number of vast algorithms in the subtractive space which can be adapted to the additive space now it's probably oversimplifying and saying that we simply re reverse the an algorithms from subtractive to become additive but the general concept applies because they've already done a lot of the heavy lifting here so the similar concepts can be applied in by using different post processors will allow us to do a lot more cool things so hopefully this is explained or demystified post processing a little bit again I've done several episodes in the past about post processors for other applications I'll link those down below I will probably be doing some longer featured uh, videos in the future about writing custom post processors for the fusion slicer because this is what I'm really excited about now we're still in very early days of the fusion 360 slicer Slicer as of the making of this video uh, and, and it's definitely being developed in what's referred to as an agile format where you get your first minimum viable product out the door then you build upon it but this is really exciting for me guys and I hope you're just as excited as I am and if you are hit that like button definitely hit the subscribe uh, I will have the playlist at the end for all the fusion minute videos and uh, swag shops in the corner we'll catch you in the next video cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.